Each year, the Social Security Administration's Medicare program provides an open enrollment period that gives beneficiaries a chance to review their current coverage and decide on what they need to change. That period is currently underway and will continue through December 7th, 2022. What's going on, my friends? Josh Baldwin here for Mad Money Millennial, bringing you the latest news and most straightforward information out there for those of you on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and SNAP or EBT benefits. You can do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons, and let's get into this breaking news update regarding the latest on Social Security and Medicare benefits. This information changes on an almost daily basis, and it's my job to keep you informed with the latest updates. So make sure you watch every single video and watch all the way through so you don't miss out on the most current information. Your main focus during open enrollment will be deciding which type of coverage best fits your current health needs and financial situation. Making the right choice could lead to hundreds of dollars in savings, but you'll need to do your homework. Trisha Newman, Senior Vice President of the Kaiser Family Foundation and Executive Director of its program on Medicare Policy, told the AARP in an interview that most people don't pay much attention to the open enrollment period, and that can come at a cost. The most popular option for seniors is Original Medicare, which includes the following. According to the Social Security Administration's website, Medicare Part A, or hospital insurance, helps pay for inpatient care in a hospital or at a skilled nursing facility following a hospital stay. It also pays for certain home health care and hospice care services. Medicare Part B, or medical insurance, helps pay for services from doctors and other health care providers, as well as outpatient care, home health care, durable medical equipment, and certain preventative services. Other parts of Medicare are run by private insurance companies that follow rules set by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. You might want to pursue these options if Original Medicare doesn't cover enough of your health care needs. For example, under Part B, you're responsible for 20% of the cost of a doctor visit or a lab test. Here are some other Medicare options to consider during open enrollment. Keep in mind that these might carry additional costs, though they could end up saving you more money over the long term. Medigap. This is a supplemental insurance policy that helps pay Medicare out-of-pocket co-payments, co-insurance, and deductible expenses. We also have Medicare Advantage, previously known as Part C. This includes all benefits and services covered under Part A and Part B, such as prescription drugs, along with additional benefits like vision, hearing, and dental care. With Medicare Advantage, all are bundled together in a single plan. We also have Medicare Part D, which is Medicare Prescription Drug Coverage. This helps cover the costs of prescription drugs. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you don't necessarily have to make a move during the regular open enrollment period, which is currently underway. There's also a special open enrollment period for those who are already enrolled in Medicare Advantage plans. As the AARP noted, the special open enrollment period for Medicare Advantage runs from January 1st through March 31st each year. During this period, you can switch from one Medicare Advantage plan to another or to Original Medicare. Switching to Original Medicare means you'll also be able to get a standalone Part D prescription drug plan. You also get a second chance to apply for Part B if you miss your initial enrollment period. A general enrollment period runs from January 1st through March 31st. Your coverage starts the first day of the month after you sign up. In terms of the current open enrollment period, you'll want to review a few things before making your final choices on or before December 7th. For example, if you are considering switching from Original Medicare to a Medicare Advantage plan, the AARP advises making sure that your healthcare providers are covered in the Medicare Advantage plans network. Also, keep in mind that some Medicare Advantage plans require referrals to specialists or require prior plan authorization for certain diagnostic tests and other services. All right, my Mad Money Minions, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below any information you might have about your own Social Security or Medicare plan benefits, and maybe you can help someone else out. 
And of course, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out and not a week or two later. If you're interested in investing, you can now get your one free stock by clicking the link down in the description. If you would like to listen to these videos while you drive in your car, you can now listen to me on my new Spotify station. And lastly, if you'd like to support my channel, you can now own your very own original Mad Money Millennial t-shirt. Colors come in black, gray, red, and white, and the link to my store can be found right under this video. Alright guys, stay safe, stay hustling, and I will talk to you guys again soon.